So this is the Siberia Fan Edition based on Android Pie and this is the 21st January 2019 build and this is the first build as of now with the F2FS and if you haven't seen how to enable F2FS video here is a card for you so this is the first build of F2FS I think this ROM is like pretty good enough even now and it was already really really good and right now it's really more stable it feels uh, in daily driving and I have to say this ROM has a lot of features and if you haven't seen the Siberia OS video I did previously here is a card for you and before like starting the video I have to say the storage does feel a little bit faster to me with the F2FS and now let me open some of the apps and show you guys side by side with the EXT4 and the F2FS storage. Let me open Chrome, File Explorer, Facebook, Twitter, Play Store, Instagram and YouTube as well. And the app open up animations as you just saw is pretty smooth. The Chrome stopped somehow. So as you can see the RAM management is not really good because Chrome and like file explorer was stopped from memory. So that's how it is. Let's open some other apps. Twitter for stopped. And reopened. Instagram is in memory. YouTube is in memory. So sometimes the memory management feels a little bit weird in my opinion and other things are fine the app open up animations are fine i do not see any kind of stutters over here so the app open up speeds are pretty fine in my opinion and one good thing and this is a little bit off topic the me calculator was not working on android pi but with the latest update as you can see from here it is working super fine right now so you don't need to worry at all regarding this like the me calculator and it's been working super fine right now with android pi and that's pretty cool and i like it that i can use the me calculator right now now let's talk about the stock camera over here well the stock camera over here is the me Edu's camera as you can see from here and it is working super fine you don't need to worry portrait and stuff is working just fine with the me Edu's camera and you have the camera to api as well with this rom so you can install any google camera or pixel 3 camera and that should be working super fine too as you can see from the screen right now and regarding banking apps well banking apps is working fine for me too and over here you don't need to do anything like any tweaks for this like google pay let me show you as you can see i have installed google pay and it's been working super fine with this like rom and you don't need to do any kind of tweaks for this so that's a really good thing and regarding network i do not have any kind of network problems some of you guys have asked me that how is the network or how is the reception of the like networks i have to say geo network is like a little bit weird so i do find sometimes that my network is a little bit lower but never it, it happened that it's totally not working it's working but it sometimes might be a little bit slower and we have the hd logo instead of volti right now and volti does work super fine volti calling and wi-fi and stuff is like pretty stable let me place a call and show you guys the dialer so here is how the dialer looks like and it does have the recording call option and as you can see it works and everything works you don't need to worry and the call recording option is there and the in call ui looks this kind of blue you can change the color from the settings of course and one good thing over here we do have the double tap to sleep on the home screen even we have the double tap to wake and double tap to sleep from status bar and lock screen both are there brightness adjustment from the status bar are, is there and this is a pretty cool feature and there are a ton of customizations you can even change these kind of like quick toggles like options as you can see the theme of quick toggles a little bit changed it's a dual tone kind of thing so you can really really customize this rom a lot so in my opinion this is by far one of the most amazing roms and you even have these kind of cool features let me show you if i lock the phone and press the power button and hold it as you can see it turns on the torch so these features are really good in my opinion and here is the fingerprint scanner speed and i have to say this is pretty fast not slow at all so as you can see the fingerprint scanner unlocks the phone almost right away i do not have any issues 
let me show you the about section quickly system about android version and as you can see this is the cyberia os and january 5th 2019 security patch again 21st january 2019 built cyberia os version 2.2 this is the mod by rashid so i have to say this rom is working super fine you don't need to worry at all regarding this rom and this is how the ftfs is working and let me show you the enter to score because a lot of you guys have asked me to show the enter to score of each rom and here is how the enter to score is 1,15,881 this is with the f2fs so not too high but it's pretty decent and this is the 4gb ram variant i have of the redmi note 5 pro so that is pretty much it guys give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye, -bye now